Hey guys, hope y'all having a great day. If you follow my stream and you check out my Twitter, you know, I talk a lot about fancy gaming computers and higher end tech, new stuff coming out on the market. But you know, I actually run a bunch of hardware that's pretty old and I've just repurposed it from over the years. So today we're gonna step inside the house and we're gonna take a look at my file server, web server, home theater PCs. I'm gonna show you all my different computers. So stick around, let's get at it. First computer we're gonna talk about today is probably the one that gets the most runtime in our house and that's our home theater PC. Uh, right down here we've got our, I think it's a Silverstone uh, HTPC case. And this is gonna be running one of the first motherboards and CPUs that I tested with uh, Tom's. And that's gonna be the AMD A10850K. This is their Kaviri based APU, uh, which contains both the processor and the graphics card. And what I like about this setup is that it's got this one fan, it's got a really small uh, SFX power supply, a couple hard drives, and that's it. This is a very you know, low maintenance machine. It's still pretty cool and uh, dust free. And there's not a lot that can break in this thing. This thing's been running solid for a good two to three years. And it's, you know, it's not the smallest small form factor computer, but for watching Netflix, home videos, and all the different stuff that's off of our file server, this thing runs just fine. Uh, a couple other specs for it. This is running the Gigabyte FM2 Plus socket. It's the F2A78M motherboard. Um, no regulator heat sinks. Uh, it's a real no frills motherboard. It does a pretty good job. We are running um, two sticks of eight, uh, four gigabyte Mushkin DDR3, 1600 megahertz. Again, nothing too fancy, nothing overclocked. This computer runs, you know, straight out of the box. But overall, this little bitty computer keeps my kids happy and you know, that's all that really matters. So on to the next machine. All right, so let's talk about my gaming computer. I've had, I've had a bunch of different types of hardware in this machine over the past, you know, year and a half, two years. Uh, but for currently, I'm running the AMD 1700X. I like it because it's got eight cores and allows me to stream this when I'm going mobile. Uh, I also have the GTX 1080. This is from uh, EVGA, it's their For Their Win edition. Uh, I got it off a guy that was doing some Bitcoin mining and he actually never opened the box. So perfectly brand new uh, secondhand, so I liked it. Uh, I've only got a couple hard drives in here. I've got a BPX 256 gig NVMe drive coupled with a 500 gig SU800 SATA drive for my game drive. A couple of other things I've got in here. I've got the G-Skill Trident Z DDR4-3200 memory kit. Uh, it's really nice and I got it programmed to flash and match my graphics card through the MSI Mystic Lite software. And speaking of MSI, I'm running the B450 Gaming Pro Carbon AC. You know, I, when I tested it, I really liked its ability to overclock and it was pretty stable. It is inside of the NZXT, I think it's like a $60 case. Uh, pretty thin sheet metal, but it does have a window on it. And like I said, I bring this thing to LAN parties and stream from it. So it's gotten some, some use and some wear and tear. And I've actually got my QuakeCon and my DreamHack sticker on here. So hoping to get a couple more of these uh, stickers from LAN parties over the next year. Uh, but overall, this computer, probably around 800 bucks. It's not, you know, an over the top gaming computer, uh, and, but I do like that it's able to stream 1080p uh, from this machine with, you know, I think medium settings is what I was going at. So uh, tell me guys what you think about my gaming PC down in the comments. Uh, but yeah, let's go pull out my Threadripper. All right, so let's talk about my Threadripper. I've had this thing for quite a while and it's been my streaming PC, my gaming PC, render rig, workstation. It's done a lot of different things and it's done a really good job at doing it. Powering this has been a 1950X Threadripper. It's the first generation processor, but it's done really well. 16 cores, 32 threads, handles pretty much anything I can throw at it. Um, with my cooling setup, I've got a 360 millimeter plus a 240 millimeter radiator. I've had this thing overclocked for four gigahertz, 24 seven for probably eight months. And it's it's worked fine. No, no problems with temperatures or anything. Um, I'm running four sticks of eight gigabyte uh, DDR4-3200. This is the HyperX from Kingston. You know, it's got a, a little bit elevated of a latency, but honestly, it runs just fine. Uh, mainly, I just had it left over from another PC build. 
So that's the memory. I am running a GTX 1080. This is the gigabyte variant, but I do have a full, full coverage water block from EK water blocks. And that's a pretty sweet card in a pretty sweet cooler. So I'm enjoying it. I'm also running an HD 60 Pro from Elgato. This is my capture card for uh, grabbing the screen from my gaming PC. And I've also got a 10 gigabit network card right here that I'm hoping to start putting into my, you know, network around the house. So make sure you stick to the channel and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be doing that hopefully pretty soon. The motherboard I chose for this build was, you know, not the most expensive, but a pretty good value option. And that's the ASRock X399 Tai Chi. It supports all the different thread rippers all the way up to the big 2990WX. Uh, but for my purposes, it has, you know, pretty decent memory overclocking. It handled my four gigahertz overclock just fine. And of course it's aesthetically pleasing. I love the, you know, brushed aluminum metal down there on that gear. And then of course the slight uh, lights, the LEDs that, you know, match all my other stuff. And so I really enjoy this motherboard. Again, four gigahertz. Uh, I think I got up to like 33, 33 on the memory. Uh, so it's a pretty decent motherboard to be honest. Got a few NVMEs in here. They're both Samsung 960 Evos, really fast drives. I use them for scratch disks for my renders as well as uh, for editing video. And obviously we've got a bunch of uh, flexible tubing here. So it's pretty cool. Uh, make sure you check out the link down in the description for the uh, live stream I did when I was doing the build. So the enclosure I'm using for this is the Corsair 570X. I had this case as my Threadripper test bench and I have moved it to this new machine because with this custom loop, I've got to have a really cool looking case. I couldn't be happier with what I've got here. Uh, very potent PC. Highly recommend you guys jumping into that high-end desktop. Yes. As far as file storage is concerned, our needs have drastically changed over the past few years for my family. Uh, my wife and I, we're both doing YouTube channels now. We got lots of video being edited and there's and a, an amassing amount of Disney videos that get ripped and put onto storage. So we've had to change a few things as times has gone on. And this was our original NAS box. This ran off of an old Lenovo machine. It's got, what, four sticks of two gigabytes. So two, four, six, eight, math is hard. Uh, eight, gigs of, eight gigs of DDR3 something. And then this is an old i5, like 75, 750. Really old processor, really old. Uh, memory. So what did we do? We went ahead and upgraded it to this. This is our new network attached storage server and it's currently running off of the Intel C236 chipset which is also running our uh, Intel Xeon E5-1230 or E3-1230. It's completely overkill for a NAS box but it's super power efficient. It's got plenty of horsepower for running jails or virtual machines or whatever we need to do. We've got 32 gigs of ECC memory in here, unbuffered of course, uh, but we've also got a, uh, LSI, an LSI HBA adapter in order to attach all of our new storage disks, which are all up here. And these are eight 1.2 terabyte uh, SAS drives, all connected through these fancy blue high-speed cables to our uh, our HBA. We've got it running FreeNAS at the moment. It's running a ZFS2 file system, so it's got two drives worth of redundancy. It's actually running a Gigabyte uh, X170 Extreme ECC, and it's got camo on it. It's really cool. It's unfortunate it doesn't have a window on the side. Um, I would change a few things about this machine. This power supply doesn't have enough uh, SATA connectors to connect the rest of my hard drives I have access to. And then I don't have any fans in front of my uh, storage disks. So I'm having to run this thing full blast all the time in order to get enough airflow across these disks. Overall, this NAS box is above the needs I need at the moment, but it's always good to build for the future and not necessarily what you need immediately. Uh, I do have the ability to expand to more hard drives as long as I get a new power supply but I also have enough horsepower on here in case I wanna get uh, fancy with some virtual machines or other types of things. Um, I am planning on upgrading this to my 10 gigabit net network as well. Overall, this machine, two thumbs up.
All right, so let's talk about my pride and joy. This is my Dell R710. I bought it off of eBay for about uh, $250, but when I did, it didn't have any memory and no hard drives. All it had were the two uh, Xenon 5660s, and these are the six core 12 thread variants. Uh, I bought them mainly for the increased memory input output speed, and over the past few years, I've been slowly purchasing and acquiring 16 gigabyte e uh, registered ECC memory kits uh, in order to populate this. I think I've got six times 16 gigs, so like 96 gigabytes. And honestly, it's a lot more than I'm ever gonna need, but everything's matched and everything runs at the uh, DDR3-1333 as uh, specced by the CPUs. Um, I've also been acquiring some more hard drives, and these are currently eight 1.2 terabyte SAS drives, uh, similar to what I've got in my NAS box at the moment, currently hosting a 24 seven, a uh, couple of different websites. I'm also running several different uh, game servers. If you hop into my Twitch chat, type exclamation point servers, you'll get the list of my servers. Um, off the top of my head, it's like a Minecraft server, a Rust server, I can also run like Counter-Strike or some of those other uh, LGSM Linux game server manager servers. This is a really beefy computer, I love it. Uh, I did make a couple different modifications from the base configuration I purchased it as. Uh, the first thing I did was I made a modified SATA cable plugged into uh, one of these adapter ports here. And I currently am running a, a 200 gigabyte SATA drive as my OS and host drive. That way I've got raw storage that I can uh, create data shares and all that for. Uh, also, I've seen people boot off of and run off of USB drives. Not entirely the most reliable way to do it, so I, I opted for the SATA drive. Uh, for my disks, I am running a RAID 6 configuration for two, two drives worth of redundancy. Um, with the hard drives, I also upgraded to the H700 RAID card from Dell. Uh, it originally had the Perk 6i. I also did uh, acquire this little bitty VGA card. Um, it doesn't really do anything right now. I wanted to see if I could get into some accelerated workloads or some VGA pass-through stuff, but um, never got around to it. Maybe it will in another time. Uh, so definitely really overkill for any standard user, even me, it's, it's a lot more than I really need. Uh, but I would recommend if you're looking into getting into IT or tinkering with server stuff, buy yourself some dedicated server hardware and learn it firsthand because you can only do so much in a VM and having this horsepower and just having the hardware is much more enjoyable than just logging into a terminal and doing stuff. So this is my server. I hope you guys can join me on uh, one of the various games I play and maybe visit some of the websites I make. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it. Those are the five computers I use on a daily basis here at the house. I hope this inspired you to maybe reuse some of your old computers or heck, even go buy a new one and do something cool with it. Uh, let me know down in the comments if y'all want me to dive into any of those builds a little more in depth or hop by the stream. I stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. You know, we talk tech stuff all the time, computer builds on Wednesdays. I love being nerdy with you. I hope you guys can stop by as well. So I hope y'all have a great night, great day, whatever time you're watching this. Catch you on the flip side. Later.